Stories that include a man-eating python and a giant snake that has killed over 300 people. These are the top 13 hoax or not snake stories. Number 13. A sheep farmer from Australia began to notice some of his flock disappearing, and this was starting to cost him a lot of money. So he decided to put up an electric fence to stop whatever varmint was sneaking in and eating them. A few mornings later, when he went out to check on his sheep, he found this massive dead snake tangled up in the wires of the fence. Is this a hoax or not? The photographs are real, but the story is not. The images have been around since about 2005, but were taken on the Silent Valley Game Ranch in Limpopo Province, South Africa. The snake is an African rock python and can reach lengths up to 30 feet long, making it the third largest snake in the world. The snake in this photo is over 13 feet long, but it looks larger in the photos because the close-up and angle of the first image is on the snake's face and mouth, and also it had just eaten a full-grown impala before it got caught up on the fence. This made its girth look even larger. Number 12. These images made their way onto the internet sometime in 2002. The story that accompanied them stated, This you have to see to believe. The phone rings. Hello, computer tech support. Well, hello, my computer was making a strange hissing noise last night and this morning. When I turned it on, there was a crackling noise and some smoke, then nothing. If I bring it in, can you fix it? Take a look at the pictures, you won't believe it. Is this a hoax or not? This one we rate undetermined. The photos may be real, but I highly doubt the story is. However, because of the prolific use of Photoshop to manipulate countless photos on the net, most of us are so jaded when it comes to any image that we even question whether or not family photos are real, even if we're in them. Due to their cold-blooded nature, snakes tend to favor tight and cozy warm spots that are covered, and a PC would be a perfect place for one to hide. Snakes can also squeeze themselves into the tightest places, so it's within the realm of possibility that a snake of that size made its way through the fan holes in the back of the tower. Number 11. A 2007 email with this photo attached proclaimed, and of course with the requisite exclamation points, golf anyone? Timber rattler, watch them snakes! This is a timber rattler killed at Oakview Golf Course in Macon, Georgia within the last few days. It was killed with a two iron on hole number eight. This is the greenskeeper pictured. The snake killer is not pictured, but was said to have come across the snake looking for a lost ball. Now is this a hoax or not? Once again, we're going to rate this one undetermined. The image is most likely real, but the story is definitely fake. According to research, the earliest examples of this image included a story that the snake had been killed in Augusta, and the story was later changed to the golf course, I'm sure to increase the effect. The snake has been identified as a timber rattler, a species that has been found in Georgia and is approximately 7 feet long. But herein lies the problem with hoaxes and chain mails and people sharing them irresponsibly. The Macon Telegraph, a newspaper in the area, spoke with the officials from the golf course who say the story has been detrimental to their business. I don't know where that came from, Rick Hall said referring to the picture of the enormous reptile. It's a lie that got put out on the internet. Hill said the snake size has stirred fear in the community. I've got people calling saying I won't ever come play golf with you again again, said Hill, who owns a stake in the golf course and has developed a neighborhood of homes there. And I've got people and their grandparents saying they're scared for their children to walk outside their house because they think there's a big old snake out there. The email has had a chilling impact, said John Wicks, the golf course's superintendent. I believe it has hurt our business and it's not funny anymore. It kind of shows what happens if something is untruthful and it gets put out there and how that can affect somebody's business. It shows how fast things can move on the internet. You just can't stop it now. And this is why I stress it so much that it's important to verify these stories. But then again, if people did, I wouldn't have this channel. Number 10. This image popped up on the net sometime around 2005 with the claims. This rattlesnake was caught in Clay County, West Virginia on May 21st, 2005. It weighed over 50 pounds and was 8 feet long. Rumors of the snake filtered through our community for the last month. Then this pic was found on Clay County's website. A shiver goes up my spine just looking at it. Others claimed it weighed over 114 pounds but was still about 8 feet long. Now is this a hoax or not? Once again, it's a real image of a fake story. Number one, the snake size is being exaggerated using forced perspective. By placing the snake closer to the camera lens while the men stand further back in the distance, it gives the viewer the impression that it's much larger. Diamondback rattlers usually weigh somewhere around 4 to 6 pounds and usually don't get any longer than 5 feet. However, rare as it may be, some have grown to be over 7 feet in length and weighing up to 15 pounds, which brings me to number 2. Number 2, the snake in the picture is a western diamondback and is not found living east of the Mississippi River. However, there was a story in a Texas newspaper, the Stephenville Empire Tribune, that told the truth. The snake was a 6 foot 11 pound rattler that was caught by three hunters, Jim Bob Basham, Danny Pincannon, and Johnny McClatchy. All real names, I swear to God. Sometime in February of 2000. Five. Number 9. Now this one is what I like to call a twofer. Not only do you get snakes in this story, but a giant 18 foot long alligator. 
This image, it showed up in 2003, just to remind you that you should be grateful for your crappy job, because look what workers in Florida have to deal with. The setting, Orlando International Airport. Florida Power and Light employees were putting in lines for an addition at the airport when, much to their surprise, they found these family-friendly critters in the culvert they were using. 18-foot alligator? Check. Giant ball of rattlesnake death? Check. In total, they found 87 rattlesnakes just chilling in the tube, waiting for your skinny little ankle and some Bermuda shorts to show up. Hoax or not? Both images are very real, but the story is not. Now, of course, plumbers, construction workers, etc., they do run into snakes, spiders, rats, and even large reptiles while on duty. However, these images are totally unrelated, and they're only combined to put you into a fetal position when all you want to do is check your email. Florida Power & Light denied that the pictures are their crews or any work site that they've been on around the airport. Also, the snakes in the photo are once again Western Diamondbacks. The snake photo was at first linked to the Bureau of Land Management in California, but they're now saying that it's most likely a photo taken at a rattlesnake roundup probably somewhere in hell. Ah! Number 8. This image has shown up on Facebook as recently as last year with the claim that a drunk man was eaten by a python after he fell asleep outside of a liquor store somewhere in India. But then before that it was China, Indonesia, Panama, South Africa. This snake, it's apparently on a worldwide bucket list tour to eat drunks on every major continent. Is this a hoax or not? We're going to go with hoax. The snake in this image most likely is bloated due to eating a fairly large animal, or it could just be gas. Reticulated pythons can grow quite large, and in some cases over 20 feet long, and at that size, they're quite capable of eating a full-grown drunk man. But there is no known documented case of one consuming a whole adult human being. Number 7. This image dates back as far as 2005 and falls under the category of what the fuck? The photo was supposedly taken in Florida's Everglades National Park on September 26 in 2005. The claim is that a 13-foot Burmese python was attempting to swallow a 6-foot alligator hole. When they were found, both animals were dead, so they couldn't really tell us what happened. Hoax or not? This one's undetermined. Theories behind the image are that the alligator tried to claw its way out of the snake's stomach as it was being eaten. Others are that rotting meat from the alligator caused gas to build up, which then killed the snake when it ruptured inside its stomach. Another theory is that the snake had eaten the alligator, but was killed by a second alligator as it lay in the sun trying to digest the massive beast. This is one of those images that leaves you wondering and grateful that as a modern day hunter gatherer, foraging for food means driving to the nearest McDonald's and eating something someone already killed and cooked for you. Number 6. In 2007, this image started hitting people's inboxes along with the accompanying text. The cow and the snake. This is a snake pulling a cow out of the water. Talk about a man-eater. Is this a hoax or not? Well, it's real, but once again, an inaccurate description. I find it interesting that people make up stories for images so interesting they don't need a fake background story. The snake in the picture is an olive python and is one of Australia's largest snakes. What it's hauling out of the water is not a cow, but a wallaby. The image showed up on Australian news with a far more believable story. However, someone claiming to be the actual photographer left a comment on the site stating, I hope you enjoyed the photo that we took recently while hiking in a gorge in northern western Australia. The python was not able to lift the wallaby after trying for approximately one hour. We left him catching his breath on a rock ledge above the pool. Number 5. According to a store on Facebook, a monster snake of epic proportions that was responsible for the deaths of over 300 tourists and over 120 divers in the Red Sea was found and killed by a special team of Egyptian scientists and divers. If you want the full breakdown of this story, then click here to watch the video. Number 4. In 2004, images of a dead snake sprawled out across an Acura's engine block started to show up along with this claim. This guy was driving Interstate 44 to work from Baldwin and made it to Hampton when he heard a pop. It sounded like a flat tire. He opens the hood and jumped a mile. Coworker recognizes him and pulls over. Imagine calling in, I will be late and uh, this is what was making the noise. Found this day, September 3rd, 2003 at Frank Letta Acura. And yes, like all email chain letters, it was written in all caps. That right off the bat usually leads me to believe it's fake. Why? Because only insane people type using nothing but caps. Hoax or not? Not. The story is 100% true, caps and all. The snake is a ball python and usually isn't found in North America, so it probably used to be somebody's pet. Apparently, both the car's owner and a representative from Frank Letta Acura in St. Louis confirmed the story was real. Although the snake died, the car only suffered damage to the belt. Number 3. This image showed up in the news around April 2014. Lilian Tomovich, a Serbian herpetologist, was in Macedonia snake tagging. I guess that's where you walk through a field of dense brush, a snake bites you, yells tag, and you're now it. 
During this game of tag with venomous snakes, she came across what appeared to be a young viper, a dead young viper with a centipede's head sticking out of its stomach. Tomovich hypothesized that the snake swallowed the centipede, who then tried to eat its way out. But the snake venom must have kicked in and it died before completing its mission. Epic fail. The story is not only true but gross, and it gets grosser. The centipede apparently dissolved or digested the snake's bones and guts, and the centipede was left wearing the snake's skin like a coat. Number 2 This next image showed up in email sometime around November of 2013, along with this claim. God save us! This snake was found in the mountains of Honduras, and the Bible speaks of a snake with seven heads, and with this we see that it is fulfilling everything that is written. Lord have mercy on our souls. Now this is not the first time this image has made the rounds on the net. Here it is in 2012 when it first showed up as a three-headed snake, which of course was just a creative photoshop of this original photo here. Polycephaly, which means having more than one head, is actually found sometimes in nature. When it does, it's most commonly with snakes or turtles. Usually this phenomenon is exhibited with two heads, or what's called bicephaly, and very rarely with three heads or tricephaly. But there's no known case of any creature found with more than three heads. Number one. This next story would make a great sequel to Samuel Jackson's Snakes on a Plane. But since it is said to have occurred in 1998, I guess that would make it a prequel. A mother took her three-year-old son to Burger King for lunch. Afterwards, the little boy was allowed to go and play on the playground. It was while he was in the ball pit that he made a whimpering noise. When the mom asked what was wrong, he just responded, hurt mommy. Thinking the boy banged up his elbow, the mother didn't give it much more attention. When they arrived back at home, she then noticed that big red welts started to show up on the boy's arms and legs. Even then, she thought they were just red ant bites. The little boy was dead an hour later. According to the story, when the mom returned to the restaurant later, she and the employees discovered that a family of baby rattlers were living at the bottom of the ball pit. It was also claimed in the story that this occurred fairly regularly and another child had died in a similar fashion in South Carolina. Hoax or not, where this occurred depends upon the story. Some claim McDonald's, others Burger King. It's supposed to have happened in Texas, Louisiana, Arizona, and Alabama. Sometimes this species of snake is a copperhead or a water moccasin. The snake in the ball pit story has been circulating since the early 90s. There's no actual evidence to support this ever occurred. While ball pits offer a host of health risks, from snot-nosed toddlers with training diapers falling off of them, them being a place for snakes to congregate is a far stretch. Snakes prefer to avoid areas that have people. They're also cold-blooded creatures and need to regulate their body temperatures depending upon the weather, and a ball pit inside of Burger King or McDonald's is just not conducive to their needs, unless they were just waiting for the McRib to show up back on the menu. On a weird note, there's a website that actually helps you find the McRib. For more Hoax Factor videos and giant snake stories, subscribe here.